sorry about this transcript because I wanted to say fought and then like take a picture. Somebody would have to transcribe that. Uh, I am Tim. Yeah, I, geez, I, I really like it here. This is a great crowd. I think we're going to have a lot of fun today. Um, coming up to Midtown, I like remembered why I never come up here in the first place. So stressful the whole time. Um, I am like the first speaker, which means I get to be like the technical guinea pig of the whole thing. So like whatever you're downloading, I like rely heavily on the internet in this. So you, you do that to me, and I'll do that to you. Yeah. <laughs> Back. Uh, the benefit of being first is I get to take the first survey of everybody. So uh, raise your hands if you brushed your teeth last night. Oh well, yeah, that's good. And uh, raise them again if you use toothpaste. That's a good showing. I'm glad. This is going to be great. So uh, I'm Tim. I'm, I'm generally like pretty unserious, not serious, however you say that, uh, about most things. Uh, this is my Twitter and this is my email. So like you can email and tweet any cynicisms towards me. Um, I will totally reply, probably. Um, and yeah, CSS Conf, it's great. I, I actually like applied to CSS Conf Australia, and there's just too many Australians in Australia, so I had to come here uh, for this. But it is a great lineup, um, so I'm, I'm very, very, very happy to be a part of it. Uh, there's like a lot of different talks, I think. There's like a lot of educational things, um, and this isn't really that kind of talk. There's like a lot of talks that would tell you it's a dumb idea to put white on a yellow background. Um, I didn't really listen to those ones. Um, so this is really like the unlearning of talks. You probably don't want to take notes, or if you do take notes, you could burn them afterwards. Um, and like all the ghostly spirit things will, will fly out. Um, I want to talk about fun. I want to talk about uh, creativity and fun with CSS and like a little bit of JavaScript and like a little bit of kind of everything together. Uh, the, way, the way that I kind of think about it is uh, when, we, when we learn to read, you also learn to write. Uh, and, and this is the same for all of us with the web. You know, we, we consume it and we take everything in uh, and we also create for it. And when you write, you don't just like write for a newspaper and, and do your job every day in and out. You also like have that uh, creativity to do whatever you like. Uh, and, and for me, that's like having fun with, with, with all that technology. Um, so this is where I got my, most of my knowledge from, the CSS for Babies book. Uh, 899, and this is pretty much what you're what you're going to experience right now. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is all these fantastic star wipes that have been going on. I went down this treacherous path where I wanted to star wipe between two slides. It was like the first thing. I'm like CSS conf. What am I going to do? Oh, I need star wipes, and I like looked at all the all the different frameworks and. There was none that could do star wipes. So like I did, somebody mentioned it before, like flip that board over that's like zero frameworks uh, since today because I've created star wipe as a framework. This is a little bit epileptic, uh, but I was like so happy with it. I just wanted to like include so many. Uh, well, there's a lot of these. Oh, there we go. This is like the, this is the CSS for, for the star wipe. It's using the mask, mask image and passing in an SVG. Uh, I, cu I couldn't get it to work with clip path, and like this was working, and I, and I just kind of uh, traveled on. And then the mask size is transitioning from like 0% to 100%. Uh, the cool thing about this is I can, I can change. So I can like do hot wipes, which is really, really like tunnel of love. Uh, I can do these thumbs up. It's like some kind of subliminal, like, this guy's all right. Uh, after that, I actually did this one, ooh, which is a donkey, which is technically an ass wipe. So <laughs> I was pretty thrilled by that. I was pretty happy with myself, like, call it a day. Boom. And that's by changing the, oh, it does, like, a little bit cut off at the top. But uh, yeah, that's by changing. Anyway, I'm going to change back to stars, because those are my favorite. Um, this was the main inspiration, is this video that I found, which is a star wipe tribute to star wipe tributes. Uh, so this was like a tribute for Bacon, and a tributing between the tributes. Uh, you should put that on your notes as like a must watch, uh, because it is hugely informative. Um, and this is what I'm talking about when I say fun. Like I, I really like playing around and doing like these quirky things. I, I get like distracted a lot, and I kind of go down these, these weird paths. Um, and I kind of 
found that I'm happier if I just embrace that and keep going um, when, when I'm enjoying something. Um, I, was never, I was never really a particularly good student at school. I didn't really like enjoy much. I'm not really a good like book learner. Uh, and that's kind of come out in this as well. Like I found by experimenting and like doing things one after the other and figuring things out uh, and, and making my own mistakes and making my own recoveries, it's, it's, it's like how I've, I've got to, to be where I am. Uh, and I'm also like incredibly lazy. Um, that's, that's just a fact. Uh, and this kind of came from school as well. I was really like a minimum required effort to pass kind of person. Uh, if you had to get like 70, I would get 70. If you had to get like 50 points, I would get like 51 points or something like that. Uh, and that's worked out pretty well for me so far. So I'm not, I'm not necessarily going to change that. Uh, so this is me in CSS. Um, before you like go crazy about this naming convention, I felt, it felt weird not to have my name in capitals. Uh, and this is the estimated number of Tim Holman that I am. Um, there's a lot of them. I actually like researched my name, and I thought like, oh, it's going to be some like cool, like kingly thing or something. And Holman literally is like man that comes out of a hole. And I was like, <laughs> the evolution has taken me a really long way. Uh, this is my height in pixels, approximately, depending on your resolution. And this is the width uh, in pixels. This is the, the padding that I put on for summer, um, with all the, the drinking that I've been doing. Uh, anyway, so yeah, really lazy. This is like my, my assignment technique at school. Basically, the first thing, it's, it's border box, obviously. It's a piece of paper. Uh, first thing I do is like increase the padding. Like I have to submit three pages. Padding like helps decrease that. The top padding and the side padding is how a pro does it. Uh, then I increase the word spacing. So like I can fit maybe 50 words on a page. Uh, it's getting really good. And then like really subtly increase the letter spacing. And that was my kind of like lazy, lazy assignment. There's actually line spacing in there as well. Uh, and that kind of got me through school. Um, I kind of wanted to, I kind of wanted to build this. <laughs> no, that's me. I kind of wanted to build this into, into Starwipe. Once I started kind of coming along with this, I'm like, you know, I'm going to like put in to this as much of my personality as I can. So if I press S a lot of times, like, oh, that's probably enough. I can really like slow down these star wipes. And this is mostly so I make my whole presentation time. I've got like a, a clock here, which is really daunting. So if I just go really slow, we're all going to get there in the end. <laughs> Could change it halfway as a hot. All right. Uh, and then like I can press F, 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 and like speed it back. Oh, that's not fast enough. Speed it back up again. Oh, there we go. Bust in the furious. Uh, yeah. Um, I really like those CSS jokes. Uh, I found like a bunch of these online in a big thread, and I was like really, really excited by them. Like Lego display block. Like, ah, oh, that's so clever. Uh, tit <laughs> Titanic float none. Like, <laughs> you sucker. Uh, periodic display table. That was kind of naughty, but I was like pretty happy with that. Uh, muffins ready. Overflow Y visible. Uh, <laughs> Unless you make them wrong, like me, in which case they just burn. Uh, Chuck Norris, his color is badass, which is really great. Uh, and Australia, of course, is, is upside down with the rotate way. Uh, I, this was me when I found these. I was like really excited, because I thought like, I would be a natural at making these, these CSS jokes. And it turns out like everything that I made was, was really uh, depressing. So like, here's me. Here's a subclass of me with my abs. Display none. <laughs> That probably needs an important tag as well, because it's never, it's never going to change. Uh, here's me. Here's my beard. Here's the patchy mask that I wear around perpetually. Uh, here's me. This is my, my regular transition speed right now. Uh, this is my transition speed when Seamless arrives at the door. It's way faster. And again, this is me. Uh, and this is my, my transition speed when I'm preparing for this conference, which is way slow. Um, these are great. This is what I mean when I say I get distracted. I'm just like, oh, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to add these things, and I'm going to kind of go, go all over, go all over with this. Um, and like, yeah, it, it, got, it got really crazy. I'm like a, an obsessive saver as well. I like save, save, save. Like if I make one change to one file, like I'm going to press save like 
10 times. Uh, I needed to build that into StyleWipe. So like every, every slide I can like press Control C and like copy the URL just in case like this whole thing crashes to bits, which was really enjoyable. So this whole like framework is getting super legitimate by this point, uh, unlike King Joffrey, former King Joffrey. Uh, uh, so this was like my list of fears when, when speaking. The first one was like, oh, I'm not gonna fill up the whole time. Uh, so I kind of fixed that by like slowing down, speeding up the transitions, like eating up seconds, uh, seconds at a time. Uh, the second thing was like everything's going to break down. You can't really see this as like comments, but that's tough. Uh, everything's going to break down. Uh, and the third thing was that I'm going to forget everything that I wanted to say. Uh, so obviously I needed to like build in my own version of speaking notes. And I was kind of like looking around. I do some like interactive demos later where I need screen mirroring. Uh, so I was like, oh, you know, if I can see the notes, everyone else can see the notes. So if I press H, you come up my hands on a napkin. Oh, it's a little bit off. You're talking about speaking notes. Good one, Tim. I thought that was really exciting. Uh, most of my time, I kind of like got a, let me just bring that up again. I kind of got like an appreciation for hand models. Like when you actually look at your hands, they're so, mine are really ugly. Uh, <laughs> So like obviously CSS to the rescue was well, this was my this was my filtering to fix fix those ugly hands of mine a little bit of blur a little bit of grayscale a little bit of brightness uh, maybe I'm born with it maybe it's Maybelline uh, but really like this is probably the best way to fix it is just to blow them completely out uh, so. <laughs> Again, like I'm getting really, really lazy, and I built in this nice way to, to get like help and notes. So when I'm practicing this and walking through it, I kind of found that I kept, I kept relying on these speaker notes, and I kept going like, oh, what is it? Why can't I stop cheating? I keep cheating with these, these speaker notes. I keep going through, and I'm not learning anything. So I had to like code in this way for, for it to, like if I keep going, it starts like messing with me and, and, and screwing up the text. Why can't I stop? It just gets more and more like disoriented, and then in the end, it's like, how oh, you're screwed. You've used up all your lifelines now. You've used as much speaking notes as you possibly can. Uh, it worked actually really, really well. It worked really, really well. I kind of like liken this. I always thought like this was a good transition, Bilbo coming in there. I always liken this to like Bilbo from Lord of the Rings, when he kind of goes crazy uh, when he loses the ring. Um, this isn't really an uncommon thing. I felt like when computers get, get kind of weird and angry at you, um, passwords are definitely like my biggest pet peeve. Like the, the barrier for a strong password just goes up and up and up. Uh, the, the smarter computer gets and like the more, the more processing that they can do. Um, so I kind of see something like this a lot, like the password, your password is too simple. And that's the same as like the, 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 the helper thing, like saying, oh, look, no, no, it's, you're screwed. Uh, and, the next obvious step for me was to build, was to build my own uh, password strength algorithm. So as you type in, this is like the passive aggressive password machine. Uh, it's just like kind of, the idea was like your in-laws. I don't actually have in-laws, so I just had to imagine based on movies what that was like. Uh, <laughs> like you call that a password? You don't even know what a password is. I'm not angry, I'm, that's a big one. My mom used that on me. I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> Try harder. This is pretty pathetic, really poor effort. I don't know, eventually like it gets, I would almost use this, and not too shabby. I need to get some numbers in there. It's like, you're not even gonna remember this password in the end. That's like game over in the password world. And like, that's what it feels like for me. Every time I try to get a hard password, uh, I just get totally like, totally maimed by that system. Um, uh, sometimes like, I get really sad from this. It's like stressing me out and the thing saying like, I have a, I have a weak password. My, my speaker notes are telling me like, you don't have anything. So I needed to build in uh, motivational words into this framework as well. So whenever I press M, it's like, oh, you know, CSS, you can do it. Amazing, Tim, you're doing great. I love you. And now I feel great, you know? <laughs> Turns that smile upside down. Uh, but I also don't want to get too much on my high horse. So like, I've got some demotivational ones as well. <laughs> just to like balance things out in a nice, healthy medium. This is all important components of this, of this uh, Starwipe framework. Uh, that's most of it. Like, I, I kind of went like a little bit overboard and like building some really weird things. Like, you can see my cursor in here. I can like beach ball myself, just in case I need to like think of an excuse to get out of here. And, like, <laughs> everything's broken. Uh, what else did I add? I added like an x-ray 
X-ray feature where it like inverts everything. Uh, if you like, if you try to get the speaker notes, you get skeleton hands in the X-ray. <laughs> I don't really know, but this is important things, uh, and that's that's the 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 bulk of the Starwipe functionality. Um, I was pretty proud of that. Like I kind of went down that rabbit hole and came out in China or Mongolia or somewhere completely strange. Uh, but this is again, like this is what I'm talking about when I say fun. I really like traveling these weird roads and, and making strange things out of, out of things, adding x-ray mode to stuff. Like what well, website doesn't need an x-ray mode? Probably browsers should have that. Um, I, I was also like, <laughs> I was also like a little bit of a, a prankster at school. Uh, I like to just play around and, and kind of have, have a little bit of fun uh, at other people's expense, especially like this guy with the cheese. Uh, has anyone ever found this, this file in, in Chrome, like custom.css? It's phenomenal. It's like any style that you add to that will be applied to every single web page that you visit on that browser. Uh, custom CSS is like the holy grail of screwing with people. Um, I have like a little bash script that that I keep in a gist, and you can just like somebody leaves that computer open, you can just open the terminal, paste the command, uh, bang it through, and like you 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 start having weird things on their website. Um, it's actually a lot of fun, and like I put a lot of thought into into the right way to ruin people's lives uh, through Chrome. Um, so this is like a few of my tips and advice. Uh, this is like this is a, a good one. Um, it just like slowly uh, rotates the hue on the whole website. Uh, usually, like for really good effect, you do it over like a hundred seconds, so it's really really subtle. And like you're on Google or something, and later you're like, oh, the colors have kind of changed, but you can't really tell. Uh, and then like a little bit later, you come back, and it's actually I have a. We'll see if the internet's gonna be pleased. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, come on, image. We can wait. Yeah, so this has it going on. You can kind of see it. This is like a 10 second loop. So this is, and this is like a really colorful image. So it's really, really obvious. Uh, subtly, subtlety is definitely the key to, to messing with people. Um, uh, this was another one. This was kind of like taking advantage of, of patterns that everybody used. So like dot logo and, and the, so the class and the, the ID logo, that's everywhere. That's in Google. You can add this so they start rotating. And it's only logos and it's only on some pages. But it's like a broad spectrum of sites. <laughs> so like eventually this person, you know, you're kind of sitting next to them like, have you noticed that like all the sites have spinning logos today? <laughs> If you've ever tried to browse Netflix with a spinning logo, it's really, 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 really confusing. Uh, and like Google is exactly the same. Uh, it's a true pleasure. And this is like a nice subtlety as well, because they can live with that. You can go for a week with a spinning logo, and you don't have to immediately solve the problem uh, and fix it, which is, which is truly fantastic. Um, this was like a simple one, like just putting like a grayscale uh, on, on every page. And like this is the same. They know the laptop has color <laughs> because you can see your desktop, but just nothing online has color. And it gets kind of confusing when they try to watch a TV show and like, yeah, that, that black and white episode, God. <laughs> it really got me. It really got me. Um, this was the first thing that I tried to do. I was just like, I just want to animate fonts and really fuck someone up. Uh, <laughs> and it doesn't let you do it. It's a travesty. Um, yeah, I especially like that like, the, the font highlight refuses to acknowledge papyrus here. <laughs> it's just like, no, it's not real. Uh, this is another good one, just like really, really subtle, just like every anchor is hot pink from now on for the rest of time. Uh, I, I'm, I definitely still have people with this on. Uh, that's just what the internet is to them now, you know? <laughs> and that's the power of the custom CSS. So I, I should definitely, I'll post like this like script. It's like, you can access that directory everywhere. It's, it's, it's truly thrilling. Uh, I really like this idea of, of ruining experiences and making things worse for people. Uh, it's, it's a really like, funny way to think about things when you're thinking about uh, how could this be more destructive as opposed to how this could be better. Uh, you kind of get like a little bit of perspective that the thing that you're building isn't actually really that bad. Uh, I've worked in ads, so I've had like a lot of opportunity to think about this. Uh, <laughs> Pop-ups are a really big one. Like everybody has seen these, these uh, 
like social media kind of engineering pop-ups. This one, like, I just have to include in every single talk because it's like Satan's spawn of pop-ups. It's like, it got a sound thing right here, so it's obviously got like some audio going on. Enter your first name, quadruple my signups. Uh, it's, it's, it's truly thrilling. And you can't avoid this. I really feel, uh, you know, some people are kind of like purist and they're like you, you never have to do these things. Uh, and like being realistic and working like in an agency or an ad world, you'll come across this at some point. Uh, and I kind of like to think to myself that things could definitely be really, really, really worse. Uh, this was something that I built. It might take a little bit to load as well. Stop downloading everything, guys. Maybe not. You can Maybe it's just not going to work. I'm going to refresh. Uh, 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 uh. No, I think it's lost. We can move on. Uh, yeah, this is, this is something where you, you move the mouse around and the, the tweet button is actually completely attached to it. So like you, you can't do anything without clicking it. It's got like 40,000 tweets or something now. It's just actually legitimately insane. And I get some, I think some people like, I don't know if Twitter has a thing which automatically does tweet if you just press that button and you don't do like the confirmation, the confirmation dialogue, but uh, some people like get really angry at me. It's, really, it's a really, really weird one. Uh, I play around with interaction a lot. Um, this is, oh, again, I don't know. We're going to be in big trouble now. None of these hosts want to resolve. So it's a sad, sad problem. Uh, let's, let's travel on. Nice. Bad. That makes no sense because you didn't see that website before. Uh, this is another thing that's totally not going to work. We'll just, we'll just kind of kick all these off and see if they ever, ever decide to resolve. Nope. Uh, this is not going to make any sense. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, this one's thinking about it. No. It's like stuck on its loading animation. This is a nice loading animation. That's built in SVG. Uh, and it's got like these little CSS raindrops. I was pretty happy with that. And now that's all I've got, so I kind of feel, I feel pain. <laughs> this one's not going to load. Um, I don't know why I was talking about borders. I really needed that other one to carry on to it. Uh, but this is a border collie. That's why that gift's there. Uh, I thought that was good. This is, oh, you kind of come to my rescue with, with hey, this one loaded. Uh, this was something that I was playing around with. Can't plug this in. I don't have, a, I don't have the, the technology. Uh, <laughs> this is something that I was playing around with uh, to try to bring animations into the DOM. Like sometimes working with designers, they're kind of like, oh, Tim, you can do like nice animation stuff. I really want you to like push the borders and go really, that's why borders was there, that's right. I really want you to like push the borders and go really, really, really weird. And I built this, this like animating monkey. Let's get him really big. Uh, in there, and they're like, Tim, what have you done? I'm like, oh, yeah, it's really great. Like, <laughs> Here's your monkey. Here's your animations. Isn't this thrilling? Um, uh, I don't know what this stuff class is right here. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, hmm? Well, let's see if any of those others kind of got there. No, I'm going to start them off again. Ooh, oh, oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go back to this one. Oh, yeah, so this is like, oh, that one kind of travels onto this one. This is where I was thinking like how hover, hover animations could get really, really, really bad. Uh, like what is the worst that they could possibly be? Uh, and uh, this was like the kind of library that I built for GIF links. So it's like since the dawn of the internet, phew, accurate representation of internet, uh, the world has been asking why are hover interaction so boring? Only recently a new paradigm has arisen to solve phew, this emotionally crippling problem. <laughs> Designers call them GIF links. <laughs> this is an accurate representation of me at work on any given day uh, in the Tumblr code base. Uh, it is a little known fact that 9 out of 10 UX specialists <laughs> agree that GIF links provide a richer, more enhanced user experience, which can be tailored specifically for the enjoyment of your audience. Uh, 
this is something I wish I could just like inject into into somebody's script. Like every element you hover, you get He Man. <laughs> that would be that would truly be fantastic. Uh, um, yeah, so that's kind of like again like thinking of the bad way. Uh, we looked at this one. Uh, this is ooh, this is something that will only work in Safari, which I totally don't have open. Let's see if I get there. Oh, gross, terrible code. If this doesn't load, it's like I open Safari for nothing. <laughs> Which is a very painful feeling. <laughs> if I just keep doing this, maybe it will, maybe it will get there. Uh, this was like a weird quirk that I found in, um, in, in Chrome and in Safari on iOS devices and, and Macs where like in this, in this area where you scroll to the bottom of the page and push a little bit further, oh, it's just not going to do it. Uh, oh, 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 this fonts because I included fonts separate. Nope. Forget about it. Let's not go there. Um, yeah, when you scroll extra, you get like a little bit of uh, numbers come, kind of coming back. So you get like a negative number when you scroll too far. So it was kind of possible to, to like inject a grumpy cat into the top and into the bottom of the screen, uh, which, was, which was really, really fun. Whoops. Oh, don't keep taking me there. Um, so like, is there any reason for making this? I don't really think so. I kind of like to not think about that because it scares me a little bit. Um, so like when you're building these things, like yeah, don't don't be like uh, don't be like so crazy about it. Again, this is gonna be this is gonna be pain. This is a website that I built, the Useless Web, uh, a couple of years ago, and like there's legitimately no reason uh, in the world that this should exist. And you press this button, and it takes you to random websites. This one's called eelslap.com. Uh, <laughs> Why would that exist? It doesn't even matter. Like we have the technology to make these crazy things, and you can build an eelslap.com. We should be doing that every single day. Uh, oh, this one's not going to go anywhere. Oh, maybe. That's such a pain. This one's hey.com, and it redirects to ho.com, which redirects to hey.com, and it just like is this endless loop over and over and over again. Uh, it's a shame that it doesn't have it, but you kind of get that. You kind of get the point. I don't know if there's any point in, in pressing it anymore. Oh, that's my own one. Nope. No luck. Uh, yeah, there's no reason for this. This is like by far the most popular thing that I've ever built. I think like every every month, like people spend it's like a total of two years uh, consuming it, which is like ridiculously insane. Uh, it's probably like put some economies in a pretty sad state of affairs. Uh, this is another one oh, that I built. It's, I don't know if the, if the audio doesn't load, it's not going to be great. Uh, this is like Elevator JS. I know it's not CSS, but uh, it was like a, when I press this, oh. That's a great. Some projects don't deserve to be on Hacker News, and this is the kind of one because it like draws out the people that are way smart and are just like, what is this? People had sound off, and they're like, everyone's raving about this library that scrolls to the top of the page really, 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 really slow. And then there was like the people that had the music up really, really loud and were deafened. I think like one of the first pull requests was somebody that had like downloaded and edited the audio to like lower the volume of it. I didn't accept it. I liked it loud. It was fine. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is kind of like a collation of my thoughts on these things and like this kind of way of thinking that isn't like too stressed out and it's kind of like a little bit explorative and a little bit like experimental. Um, I, yeah, that's, that's kind of, this is actually like a function that I found in the, in the Tumblr code base, which I think best highlighted what I was trying to say. Like sometimes things just don't have to make sense. Uh, I stumbled upon generate dolphins in the code and was like completely confused and baffled out of my head and like kind of secretly like really, really excited. And it took me like three hours to find the dolphins in Tumblr. Um, in the, they're in like the audio player when you're when you're not using it. The the equalizer has these dolphins swimming around. Somebody like was very quick to say that they're actually sharks based on like their dorsal fin, but it's like you don't ruin the fun. And like the teardown function for generate dolphins was when dolphins cry, <laughs> which was a really special thing. 
Uh, so yeah, I mean that's that's kind of all I've got to say. I'm sorry, like some of these some of these demos didn't really go as planned, but like I'm definitely like up for a beer or hit me up with an email. I'll share these slides uh, and like open source star wipe so you can all start star wiping yourselves into the future. <laughs> Thank you.